this is Tim, all right, Khan, and uh, we're going to take you through a short slideshow of uh, the subway train panel piece that we did. My name is Dave, Dave Arek, um, and uh, this is our subway train. A rough outline. Rough, sloppy, who cares? It's a rough outline. You're not going to see it when the finished product arrives. It's just something rough. Get your dimensions down, connections, whatever it may be. You know, it's just like a piece of paper sketching, just rough and raw, and then you add the color. A lot of earth tones is what I've been into lately. Um, I'm pretty notorious for using pretty much every uh, color in, in this picture right here. You know, I just like throwing a bunch of different colors in my bag, and, uh, you know, yeah, as soon as I start painting, I'll just throw it together and see how it turns out. You know, wanted it to look like an old subway car, so we knew we were going to have to use a bunch of different colors, make it look rusty, you know, make it look worn, like it had been, you know, running down the tracks. We didn't want, like, a brand new subway car. Um, so this, at this point, this is where we're filling it in with the different shades of gray, you know, starting from dark at the bottom, going up. Where the original sketch was, you can see where, like, the lines around the window are kind of, you know, sketchy still, but I'm making the doors a little bit more solid, straight lines and stuff like that just put more detail into the train uh just little bolts uh windows window ledges sills uh around the doors trying to give it some dimension uh some shading to make it look like it was a subway car that had been smashed and we're just trying to authenticate it you know to some degree we had the uh smithsonian uh people i don't want to name names and get them in trouble but uh they were vandalizing our, our subway car that we painted give it a little bit more authenticity. This is the finished product as far as uh, before we actually painted our stuff. This is the subway car as if it was just bombed. There's you know, random people we know from a shaken tag and we try to do it in their hand style to a nice tag from Philly, a friend Ricky from Pittsburgh, a buddy sake from Baltimore. Uh, you're just random people that we know hang with and we try to give them some you know hey look we're in the smithsonian they're in the smithsonian too you know i mean there's from from one end of the train to the next uh there's people's names that you know that are in silver black markers um that we put up on the train and we try to make it look like i said like their style so you know just to make it look authentic but they're our friends when we're standing back in this picture just kind of getting an idea all right well you're going to go on the left of the store, I'm going to go on the right of the store. And from there, it's basically just off, just, just we were winging it. Just, you know what, at that time and moment, we had, I had no idea what colors I was going to use. He didn't know. You know, I'm going to do my name, you're going to do your name, and we'll make it happen. And, you know, I wound up going with some earth tones, and he went with a, a wild, a wide palette of colors. I think he just used everything there. Starting, starting it out, rough, starting my A. The left kick of my A. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Actually, I got some bird legs. Wow. That's hereditary. This is my basic outline right here in this picture. Um, and then it was different for me because then I added in a bunch of, like, arrows and twists and bits and stuff to make it look like an old, an older, um, you know, 80s New York style piece, um, which I don't usually add into my pieces. I'm bringing some color into it. I've accomplished my first rough outline, and uh, and I'm just uh, starting the second layer of colors here. Starting into my A, and going, like I said, going left to right with the second color. Yeah, this is where I'm starting out. I've got, uh, you know, a good 35 different colors I need to put in this piece, obviously, in my head. So I'm starting off with this uh, green dot right here. Doing my basic fill-in. I've used um, some green, some violet, some, you know, turquoise looking colors. Um, you know, started cutting in like all my different bits, stars, that type of thing. So at this point in time, I've kind of got my basic fill in for the entire piece. We're pretty much probably, you know, 90, 90 some percent uh, finished here. The pretty much the main fill of the piece is done. Pretty much what's left here is uh, some highlights uh, finishing up. We're almost there. That's the finished product right there with our crew letters BA in the middle. Um, that, 
that this is it right here. This is just the finished shot. And, you know, you can. It almost looks like a real sub. It looks like a real subway train from a piece of plywood to a subway train.